So it's very early in the morning and I've not even finished my first cup of coffee, but um, I recorded my trading session with Dash this morning, just working on the place command. And when I rewatched it, I thought, wow, this would be a really good video to just kind of show people um, how to go about teaching their puppy place command, what to do, um, how powerful it can be when you don't over communicate with your dog. And so I, I, I want to show what that looks like. Um, and before I do, I want to also show an example of what I see most other people do with their puppies when they're teaching the place command. So I kind of want to show you what I see other people do, which is what not to do. And then I want to show you what it looks like when you take away all that communication and let your dog kind of work it out themselves and figure it out themselves and how powerful it can be when you let your dog make that connection and work it out in their mind all on their own, how much faster, how much, you know, like, like the difference is measurable and how much quicker your dog can learn these things when you take away all that communication and let your dog work it out for themselves. So I wanna show you just real quickly, I'm gonna use Dash and as, as an example here of what not to do, of what I see most people doing. And then I'm gonna show you my video um, and take away all that communication and let Dash just work it out on his own and use some positive reinforcement there and just um, show you guys the difference. So here I want to show you what I see most people doing, which is a lot of over communicating. And I think that that's one of the biggest mistakes that people make with their puppy is over communication. So it, it'll look something like this. Here, here, puck, 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 come, come. Here, Dash, come here, Dash. Dash, come here, here, come here, come here. Oh, good boy, oh, okay, lay down, lay down. Here, 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 Dash, lay here, here, down. Good, good. Dash, here, come on, puppy, here, puppy. Here, puppy, good boy. Oh, good boy. Lay down, Dash. Dash, lay down. Lay down, Dash. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Like, just, just hit me with a bus. Dash, come. Come, Dash. No, no, here. Good, good, good boy. Good boy. Lay down, Dash. Dash, lay down. Here, lay down, Dash. Lay down. Good boy. Good boy. There, good boy. So this is just all around over communication. I'm over communicating with my words and my voice. I'm over communicating with my body language. I'm over communicating with all this spatial pressure, pushing down because I'm frustrated he's not going down fast enough. Just so much over communication in this whole picture. So now you're gonna see me take away all of that over communication, all of the verbal cues, all of the body language, all of that over animation goes away. And I'm going to wait my puppy out. It's okay to wait your puppy out and let them figure this out on their own. I lean down just a little bit to give him a cue. Okay, we don't want him completely in the dark, but we want him right in that sweet spot of being able to figure it out on his own. Boom, which he does. So now let's watch the very next repetition. Yes. Boom, he goes right into the down and offers it. Here's the third rep. Yes. Boom, he goes right into a down and offers that. So this is just a great example, a great reminder of what can happen when you're too over communicative with your dog, how it hinders their progress. It actually slows them down. Dogs are a lot smarter than we give them credit for. We need to remember how intelligent they are. And this just shows that, you know, look what happens when you let your puppy work it out in their own mind. Keep them right in that sweet spot of giving them just enough communication.